The Caterpillar Skills Academy was started uh, April 2011. It was a joint venture between ourselves, Birmingham Metropolitan College and Sigma. We, we looked at an increasing volume of product coming out of our facility with a workforce who was aging and we didn't have a significant path of bringing in new employees into, into the facility. My view, having worked with the car plants all over the world, is that this is an unprecedented training and skills academy. I'm still working with the car plants now. I've not seen anybody make the investment that Caterpillar is. There's no doubt in my mind that the work they're doing with the current workforce and the apprenticeship programme uh, will make sure that this facility um, is a world-class plant within Caterpillar. We opened the academy in April 2011. Since then, we have had more than 500 first-year apprentices come through the academy. More than 32% of them have gone on to secure a second-year contract with us, which involves another 18 months. And whereas the first year with us is primarily in an assembly role, working on the main line in the assembly hall, the following 18 months, we move them across other areas of the business, including logistics, paint, shipping areas, and some of those go into some of our office or technical areas. Further education and colleges in general get criticised for the fact that we never provide work with work ready students. This is the prime example of where this works completely and utterly um, in the favour of the employer, giving the students, the apprentices on the programme, the opportunity to develop skills, to learn in a real work environment, to take what they do in these wonderful classrooms we've got here out onto the shop floor, get the real experience at that programme on the 12 month programme that they're on with an opportunity to go on to another 18 months at the company and we've got some really good examples of some students you'll see later on who will be able to talk you through their experience there um, and then develop the skills that are then saleable from their point of view. If they're not in a position to be taken on by Caterpillar, they are really saleable going out into the marketplace with the skills they've actually learned. Even in the classroom, I mean, what we're learning, CPS is really good, BMET is really good, they teach you well, they know what they're doing, everyone's really friendly. Can't really go wrong in this place at the moment, I'd say. It's really good. And the best thing I've got to say, the one thing it did really, was really, that really shocked me and did shock me that, the fact that it was actually all, we learned everything actually in Desford, we didn't have to commute to a college or anything, we're actually here at Caterpillar, which actually prompts more people to come as well, as opposed to other apprentices as well. My stepdad works here and he recommended me, he said, come and try it, obviously, it's worth a go. And I thought, I'm not going there. I was like, I'm a girl, that's like a man's world, I'm definitely not going there. And after a bit of persuasion, I, I come and I did think at the beginning, I was like, no, I'm going to stick this about three weeks and I'll be gone. And everyone was like, just try it, just try it. Obviously, once you get your nine weeks out of the academy done, you'll, you'll go out there and you'll enjoy it. And the first, still the first week I was out there, I thought, no, still not going to like this. And now, now I'm finally in it, I do enjoy it. It's nice to be, nice to be different, if you know what I mean. Like it is, it isn't a man's world what you think it's going to be like. We kind of all get together along the same. You kind of class yourself as one of the boys, really. It's just nice to get along as like it's a big family really out there. So it's nice out there, yeah. I had like a full-time job at a restaurant, and another full-time job at like a petrol station and things like that. And I just wanted to do something again, learn something, like like I say, like a trade or a craft and this was like the spot on way to do it. I came in here, no experience, and graduated through the academy with a triple distinction, which I never expected I'd do. So I got top grade, you know what I mean? Never missed a mark. So to, to be able to come and do that just proves that they, they know what they're doing here. They, they've got a good uh, set of lecturers and a good support team that gives someone like me the opportunity with, with no experience to, to excel. My brother works here already. So um, he told me all about it and um, it just sounded like something I'd want to do because it's all practical and I wanted to do like a job where I was getting paid but learning at the same time. The way I've got the job I'm in now basically is I applied for it on the board as anyone else would have. I was coming up to the end of my contract so I only have one month left and that's sort of the time where you do apply um, and see what jobs are out there and this one I saw was half to do with the shop floor and half to do with in the office so it is office based but you do have to go in and out and because um, I had the experience from the shop floor I thought that that would be 
better suited for me. So then I applied for it, had the interview and I was successful. It's not just about the apprentices. One of the points we looked at when we were starting the whole academy scheme is it's about upskilling our existing workforce. We've had more than 600 of our existing workers go through the academy and we are just about to bring the, the original um, workers who went through two and a half years ago, we're about to bring them back in so that we can really say this is a learning factory going forward. At one point I thought it was really focusing on the, uh, on the apprentice program, but then realised that the, um, uh, the senior people, the people being on the shop floor, had also an opportunity to continue their learning. And I thought it was brilliant. It's a brilliant program. We, we knew that we needed a, a ready supply of skilled, capable people, and we wanted our young apprentices to come through and, and be that steady supply of, of not only labour, but, but really they represented our future. And that aspect of the program has gone swimmingly. It's, it's beyond my expectations. Not only have we, have we been able to get really capable, impressive, well-spoken young people, but the reaction from more of our senior people has been quite stunning also. When I first got told I was coming into the academy, I wasn't really, or a bit nervous about it really, but when I've actually come out, come out the other end of the academy, it's been really insightful and get, get me a lot to help my job. I really enjoyed it. I liked um, working with all different people from different areas. It was a, it was a really nice class. We got to go um, visit different areas that I hadn't been to before, hose plants. Um, it was also it kind of highlighted inconsistencies in different areas with regards to um, certain processes. So I think it helps for having everyone go through the academy. It kind of increases consistency throughout the factory to make sure we're, we're all kind of working to the same kind of standard. Um, if somebody approached me uh, about working for Caterpillar as a company, I'd tell them without a shadow of a doubt, go for it. It's such an amazing opportunity. Um, I can talk to them about the processes that I had to go through and the steps I had to take. Um, but all in all, it's, it's just such an opportunity and if you turned it down, you'd be silly to refuse it. I was told I was going through the academy because we'd set an academy system up here and uh, I wasn't educationally great at school and the thought about going through the academy terrified me. Uh, I was actually within 15 minutes of leaving the company. I, I left school with nothing 35 years ago and all of a sudden I'm getting nominated for awards in London. I went to London, uh, met all the top MPs and Lords and everything else. And again, to my astonishment, I was actually awarded the uh, West Midlands Learner of the Year, which I couldn't believe it. It wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't have gone through the academy. <laughs>